Episode 2, Season 2, oh, I'm Travis Cut, joined more. as always by Dave and G. That's it, lean forward towards the mic. Gonna get real close. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta treat it like a, like a sexy female. It's got some nice curves on it. It does, it does. And the grading, it's just my dream girl. I give it an A+. Plus. I give it my penis. Plus. <laughs> My A. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what uh, what the fuck are we talking about today? I guess you have some paper there in front of you, so you're probably going to be discussing that. A yeah, bit. we should probably read this shit before. I, I brought smoke. a little black book here with full of please ink. Little African American book. Okay, pardon me. Yeah, Thank you. We want to be politically correct here on Chronic Fatigue. Mm-hmm. That's our number one priority. That's right, Cracker. Yeah. <laughs> Better get it straight. <laughs> All right. So, uh, basically, I was cruising through my favorite website, Christwire. Yeah. Um, we've mentioned it before on the, the program. Um, but pretty much it is a repository of probably the most racist shit that I've ever seen in one location. Okay. It's, it's more racist than the time that I got... Hauled out a blockbuster by the police. It's more racist than the time I got pulled over for walking down the street by the police. And it is more racist than the time someone called me a jungle bunny. Jungle bunny. <laughs> wow. All I very racist. Poor monkey, cheap monkey in that list anywhere, though. No. No. How dare they? Yeah. But those are all other stories. Mm. Well, we can get into those on our politically incorrect show. That's right. That's right. No affiliation with Bill Barr's show. No. Um, so I don't know how much of this I really feel like reading because it is long. Um, but basically, the title is. <laughs> remember how I couldn't read the title last time because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> remember I what it was. blacks scarier at night? Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so the the title is blacks are raping our young white pop stars. Initial thoughts, David. Raping our young white pop stars, like for example, Britney Spears. Uh, I guess these are like the old ones. I don't really know the new ones. I guess there's Miley Ray Cyrus now. Fuck, uh, I'd rape her. Lady Gaga. She's not that young though. I don't know. She'd probably be into it. She's fucking. I'm sure she takes the black young cock. white pop stars. Um, Let's say Taylor Swift <laughs> as, as just an innocent Christian example. That, well, that's a good guess, but it's actually about. Um, what is it? Mel- Melissa Black? Rebecca Black. Rebecca Have you heard that? African American. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Touche. Right. Um, you know that song Friday? It's the big web sensation. It's really shitty. It's, it's, no. it's Okay, well, essentially what they're talking about is ARC music production, which is a bunch of people um, that will make a music video for your daughter. Okay. So, to, so you pretty much say my daughter's got a good voice. Yeah. Um, I want to make a music video. So um, like in Canada's Wonderland, if you go in front of a green screen exactly. for like fifteen bucks, and exactly. Have your own music video. And they and they they take care of all that stuff. Cool. Um, so that's what it's referencing. Um, so I'll just try to. And they're taking advantage of them. <laughs> well, according to Christwire, they are. Um, Is that part of the package deal with the music video? We'll, we'll get like to a, that. We'll get to that. Night vision sex tape included. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so it starts out, how much is your daughter's innocence worth? I'm guessing about $3.50. In this day and age. In this day and age. I mean, yeah. it's a tight economy. Uh, most people would say there is no price. So, well, we've already fucked that up. Uh, but now a new fad has started in America where your daughter can be a wannabe pop star and hang out with the cool black hipped hopped, hipped hopped artist for the small price tag of $80,000. Somehow, I doubt it's that much. Eighty grand. That's um, cheaper than becoming a doctor, so, you know, you could make more money as a pop star well, to get in there. we'll see. Yeah. Uh, then it goes on to state these things. Blacks love two things. Take a guess what those two things are. Chicken yeah. and <laughs> uh, corn rolls. 
Uh, close. <laughs> Very close. Actually, the two things, according to Christ Wire, that blacks love are raping and stealing money. Oh, well. Interesting. I mean, that could go for any racial minority yeah. segment. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is what they are doing to white America. I guess they ran out of their own women to abuse. Over in Africa there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is just insane. Um, two black dope dealers have come up with a scheme to promise young white girls a life of being a famous pop star. They promise they will write a song, produce a video, and add it to iTunes and YouTube channels to promote their future number one song. What they are really doing is using her porcelain skin princesses to lead to lead her down a path of prostitution, premarital sex, violence, and other black-like actions. Initial thoughts, David? Well, I just think it's unfair to link that all to black people because I'd, I'd link it more to uh, society in general, Western culture, where, uh, you know, everybody's hooked on MTV with these crazy videos going on and stuff, and I wouldn't directly relate it to uh, African-American, but it relates to another story that you read off here about Justin Bieber being used to lure in oh, yeah. young teen girls yeah, so it's white the girls. same thing just a different you know yeah. different hook and line on the sinker or a sinker on the hook line yeah all those things you're, you're also like c countering their point with like sanity whereas they are just pure fucking insane yeah um <laughs> I'll just skip down um they, they are nice enough to provide a list here of four things. Uh, you will notice in the videos at the end of this post, they had a whole bunch of video links, um, that each video has four things in common. Number one, always has an intro with a black man in introducing the singer. This is a way to make the white girl think she is getting some kind of ghetto street card. They do it in like a... Ebonics type of way, gangster. Well, you do it like rap videos, just average, like. Yeah, yeah, coming up. Little Sydney. <laughs> yeah, they, Sydney tweaks. They all sound like DJ Clue. <laughs> DJ Clue! Yeah. Um, numero two. Each video has the two crack dealers in it so they can show off to their friends. Crack dealers. So they have like a cut scene of them passing over vials of crack? No, they're just. They're making the link that they are black, therefore they sell crack. Well, that's a preconceived notion. This is totally uh, a side topic, but I have to bring it up. Have you ever had a black drug dealer? Because I've been buying drugs for a long time, and they have always, always been white. I don't think I've ever bought drugs off a black I've heard dealer. about them. I bought drugs off myself, if that counts. They're kind of like Pokeroo. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just missed it, man. You this just missed it. Crazy Rastafari guy who's just here. <laughs> But so yeah, so I, it's kind of more of a mythological figure. It's fucking bullshit as well, at least in yeah. Canada, anyways. <laughs> um, number three, every video the human boat shipments are laughing. I, a human boat shipments, I guess they mean the black guys. As if they are laughing at the white population of America saying, what do you think they're saying? If, if I were to just say that statement uh, to you. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. This is what, according to Christ, why are they saying? We just raped another white woman and pimped her out for some quick cash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think the guys that are controlling Britney Spears are saying behind closed doors? Oh, shit. And the guys controlling all these other teen pop stars. None of them are black, that's for sure. They're the guys in big, nice $5,000 suits. Yeah. Up in the uh, business tower. But and we're not talking about them. We're talking about African Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Every video, oh, this is point number four. Every video, the girls are dressed up in whore outfits and are made to sing songs about partying, kissing boys, going on shopping sprees, and always make them pose in sexy face positions. I don't even know what a sexy face position is. It's when you puff your lips out a little, like pucker. Like that. You, see, you see a lot of girls, you know, on the That's internet. That's their sexy that. face positions? Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much the sum of this particular fucking article um what i thought would be funny is let's act out a little scene here david you are the father of a role playing yeah but the good kind of role I'm the playing. father of, of of one of these girls i am i am one of the <laughs> the crack dealers at, at arc music and you come to okay. me and, and you want to make a video for your daughter i'm the father okay so hello uh, hello. hello hi uh Mr. Ark Music. Yeah, I, that's correct. My 
Young daughter Cynthia here is interested in becoming a pop star. Cynthia. I like the name already. It's got sin in it. Sin and synth. You know, it's synth. good for the pop music. So yep. we hope we can get uh, some of that in there. You know, Agreed. We want to show off her little raisin boobs a lot and, you know, <laughs> make sure. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're on the same page. Um, I just have a, a civil contract here that everybody signs. Um, okay. As you will see, it will just entitle me to some of the gross profits. Um, typical stuff. Uh, there is a clause that will allow me to rape your small daughter okay. and pimp her out. Is, sure. is that a problem? No, not not a problem at all. Just Excellent. sign right here. Or? Yeah, just sign right there. So she's going to be a pop star. <laughs> she right? will be, but uh, you did hear the part about me raping her, right? No, yeah, just let me sign this for you. Okay, yeah. let's get this video. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and scene. All right. I can only imagine that this is what Christwire thinks the meetings yeah. are like. Yeah, well, uh, you know, the price of fame. It's eighty thousand dollars. Yeah. Apparently. So, yeah. <laughs> Good. And, and a rape. We got a, <laughs> just, as and an a rape. bonus. Yep. Limited yep. time only. Um. All right. I downloaded another one. We won't talk about it too much. But there's just some fucking. There's just some shit in this that made me laugh so fucking hard. All right, so I think the title of this one was How to Spot a Masturbator. Oh. And it opens with saying, briefly, Masturbation is a serious issue facing families today, but most parents are just too embarrassed to talk about it to their teens. Give some scripture quotes, fucking bleep, 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 bleep. Um, uh, if the sins of lust... Immortal, uh, immoral thoughts and pornography are forsaken and overcome. Teen masturbation is a small offense that can be dealt with in the privacy of their own home. I don't really understand how you would deal with it outside of your home, but all right. Um, so blah, 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 spiritual risks. What really made me laugh was this thing. Okay, let me skip to it. Okay, so now they're telling you how to, how to spot a masturbator because that's the title of it. Yeah, gotta watch out. Keep your eyes out. For Adam's apples. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maternal wisdom has long stated that oversleeping, locked doors, avoiding eye contact, messy beds, fear of clean underwear. I, I don't really understand that. Uh, long, steamy showers and a pungent, bleach-like odor on one's bed sheets are all red flags of masturbation invasion. Red flag. Red flag. Sign the, alar sign the alarms. I think it would be more of like a pinkish hue flag um all right so this is what they say to do to your teen child this has got to be one of the worst things you can do okay one trick passed on to me so somebody told him this is that you can press your nose to a young man's mattress inhale deeply and bracket irregardless of the smell announce and this is quoted bolded and underlined that smells like semen. Semen. If the boy's face turns red and he runs from the room, the evidence is clear. Oh, so you gotta trick him. Right? Yeah, it's like a trick, right? You, you, you. But I just uh, think there's nothing more latently homosexual than if you are a father of a boy and you press your nose to his mattress, inhale, it says <laughs> inhale deeply. Yeah. And now it's, that smells like semen. Like, I just don't get it. It also says, you know, Jesus hates fucking masturbation, blah, blah, blah. But what about the signs there? Like, sleep too much, too yeah. long of showers. Yeah. Um, what else was there? Oh, um, too long showers, locked doors, um, fear of clean underwear. I don't fear even fucking underwear. understand what that means. Yeah, that's confusing. It's like, I love to jerk off, and I hate changing my yeah, underwear. I'm to clean it. Well, it's maybe their parents do the laundry. And uh, I'm afraid they might find something in there. <laughs> like, no, don't clean my underwear. God damn you. Um, I like them nice and casted, casted like that, you know? I like it with a, a pale yellow brown stain just all <laughs> over them. Um, another part that really made me laugh is um, okay, for adults, now this isn't talking about teenagers anymore. We're into adult masturbation yeah. here. Masturbation yeah. exhausts. It can make one groggy and unfocused. It has a steamrolling roll effect, encouraging individuals to think more about sex and less about the work at hand. That's all I'm thinking about when I'm jerking off is the work at hand. Yeah, oh, thank you. That's your hand. Uh, <laughs> the the connection to work. Oh, this is funny. The connection to workplace safety is evident.